Typhoon Hinnomnor, which has now dissipated, left at least two dead and ten missing as it passed through South Korea overnight. Tens of thousands of households lost power, and a number of homes and roads in the southeast were damaged or destroyed. Kim jong shil reports. The eye of Typhoon Hinnomnor arrived South Korea just around 4.50 a.m. on Tuesday and stayed only until 7.10 a.m. It wasn't here long, but it left at least a dozen casualties in its wake. South Korea's disaster agency said Tuesday afternoon that two people have died. One of the victims was in the port city of Pohang, a woman in her 70s who was swept away by a flash flood Tuesday morning. She was on her way to a shelter. Another person, a 25-year-old man, went missing in Ulsan, which is a little to the south. Also in Pohang, reports say that seven people remain trapped in an underground parking garage and are considered missing. They reportedly went into the garage after an announcement in their apartment building telling people to move their cars to protect them from flooding. More than 66,000 homes lost power and water caused a number of roads and houses to collapse. Up to 110 millimeters of rain fell per hour in Pohang and other southern regions. In parts of Jeju Island, the first place to be hit, the rain was even heavier, and high waves could be seen crashing over seawalls in the city of Sogipo. There, monstrous waves towered over a 45-meter-high bridge. Some part of the island experienced power blackouts, too. More than 18,000 households lost power overnight, but the lights were back on by 11.30 this morning. An official at Korea Meteorological Administration told Arirang News that even though the typhoon has dissipated, there will continue to be high waves and strong winds on the east coast, and he advised people to take appropriate steps to secure their property. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.